So our next talk is uh, going to be delivered by Dr. Akira Kitamura, and it's entitled The Mass Flow Calorimetry System for Scaled Up Experiments on Amorphous Heat Evolution at Elevated Temperatures. Dr. Kitamura. Thank you very much. Uh, recently, we, are, we have been uh, doing experiments on the uh, nano-composite samples uh, based on nickel, uh, nickel nanoparticles. And we have, uh, lot, we have obtained a lot of uh, interesting features. Uh, that, that's a uh, summarized uh, the uh, Costa session, uh, uh, Costa, the number nine. And uh, one is the burst like uh, heat release uh, that amounts to uh, six dB per atom hydrogen. Or uh, large values of integrated heat uh, reaching about uh, 800 dB per atom and uh, abrupt desorption uh, uh, with 50 to 80 EV per atom uh, as, as uh, almost exclusively uh, in the first uh, run uh, for each sample. Uh, to confirm this uh, interesting phenomena, uh, we uh, improved uh, si uh, the system to uh, yes. fabricate uh, the uh, reaction chamber uh, yeah. with a 10 times larger volume and uh, with a mass flow carbonate uh, using an oil current. Uh, this is the system. Uh, we have the reaction chamber here. And inside this ch uh, reaction chamber, uh, we have uh, uh, sample up to 5 uh, cc cubic centimeter. And <coughs> outside this reaction chamber, we have a uh, current pipe and a heater. Uh, you see here a uh, current heater. Uh, current pipe and the heater, or uh, wound uh, alternatively. And outside the, uh, the, this, uh, we have a uh, radiation uh, ship here. Uh, this uh, makes the uh, uh, performance very good, as you see later. And uh, outside uh, this uh, assembly, we have uh, another uh, radiation shield here. Uh, that is um, <coughs> uh, ISO, uh, ISO shield, uh, a kind of uh, fiber. And uh, <coughs> uh, uh, we have the um, Calorimetry system uh, to measure the uh, heat output. Uh, the system, uh, the reaction chamber is sustained uh, by this uh, pipe uh, which supplies uh, hydrogen gas. And uh, you see. You see the, oops, okay. You see the uh, uh, supporter pipe here. Uh, uh, some couples uh, here, uh, here and here, and uh, we have uh, 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 RTD, four RTDs uh, inside the 
reaction chamber. And uh, here we have four RTPs and uh, six subcouples here, PC1, two, much more and three, uh, three, four, and five, six. Uh, uh, the piece is uh, attached uh, on the current pipe. Uh, through the current pipe, uh, the uh, current is uh, uh, flowing. Uh, the current pipe is goes out of outside uh, candle <laughs> and come back to the, uh, after cooling, uh, come back to this uh, cabin and enters to this constant temperature water bath. This, the temperature is controlled within plus minus uh, 0.1 degree. And the current is supplied by this uh, constant flow rate pump. Uh, the <coughs> squeezing rotors uh, yeah. send uh, the Side current uh, inside this chip. And um, the, the system is uh, located inside the vacuum chamber uh, or the purpose of thermal uh, insulation. And <coughs> yeah, we have a neutron counter and a gamma ray counter here. And uh, these uh, parameters are near. Uh, with the MI max system. Now, uh, here we have uh, uh, characteristics uh, of the uh, heat transfer medium. Uh, that is barrel some 400. Uh, Matsush, uh, Matsumura Oil Company Limited. And, <coughs> and here we have viscosity and vapor pressure and the den uh, density and uh, specific heat. Uh, we have a rather large uh, temperature uh, dependence of the viscosity, but uh, Owing to this pump, we have uh, very stable uh, flow. And <coughs> for the purpose of the uh, calorimet calorimetry, uh, we uh, need to know the uh, specific heat and density. Uh, uh, they are uh, rather depend. Ra they have ra rather large dependence on temperature, uh, but uh, we have we, we can uh, obtain arbitrary uh, temperature by uh, using this approximate uh, function. Now <coughs> we show the calibration runs uh, using uh, alumina sum, alumina part. Uh, the average diameter of the, uh, this alumina powder is about uh, 100 uh, micron. Uh, this uh, run serves as, uh, uh, also as a uh, control run for the uh, nickel-based samples. 
Uh, here uh, we have a temperature uh, change uh, due to the heater input change. Uh, we have here the 195 watt input. Uh, the, the input is uh, changed to 124 watt here and <coughs> kept constant but, uh, for almost three days. And here uh, the power is changed to 200, 231 watt. And here uh, the, the flow rate is changed. Uh, from two, 20 uh, cubic centimeter per minute to four, 40 uh, cc per minute. And uh, here, uh, after evacuation, uh, the power is off. Uh, this is the detailed structure of the uh, temperature change. Uh, of this first stage. Uh, we have uh, rather uh, the, the temperatures are rather <coughs> uh, have good saturation uh, for almost uh, three hours. Run. And uh, the temperature uh, decreases uh, according to the input power decrease. And uh, when, for this phase, we have a detailed structure here. Uh, 231 watt and to, uh, with 20 cc per minute and 40 cc per minute. And we, have, uh, uh, we evacuated the chamber and uh, heat was off here. And during this, uh, 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 these changes are <coughs> uh, difference between, the, uh, b between these changes uh, in temperature uh, uh, are uh, used to calculate the uh, temporal uh, no, uh, temperature coefficient uh, or and uh, to obtain the time constant. Uh, we have uh, very good uh, fitting to the to the exponential function. And from this function, we obtain the time constant and the difference between the temperature between after and before the uh, change in the power. And the temperature difference between the uh, uh, before and after uh, power change and uh, power itself uh, gives the Uh, heat conversion factor uh, and uh, time constant and uh, heat recovery rate. The average and the standard deviation of this are summarized here uh, to give uh, the heat uh, conversion factor uh, approximately equal to uh, one watt per degree C. And 
when the heat recovery rate about 0.9 uh, with time constant of about 30 minutes. Next, uh, <coughs> we perform pre uh, preliminary runs using silica induced uh, included uh, samples, uh, nickel based samples. Uh, in, the, in addition to the uh, nickel, uh, uh, copper additive is, uh, copper is added uh, to uh, nickel, and the copper nickel composite is included in the silica. Uh, this is uh, this made of uh, made from uh, made by uh, Almatex company. We call this sample CNS. And uh, since we have uh, only 50 grams of this sample, uh, the, the rest space is filled with uh, alumina, uh, which was also used in the uh, calibration <coughs> Uh, here, uh, before uh, introducing the hydrogen gas, uh, we, we have made a baking of the sample uh, at vacuum, in vacuum at uh, 195 watt. Um, this, these are uh, thumb cup two and three. Uh, at the outlet of the current and inside the chamber we have RTD and <coughs> TC4 is uh, on the pipe, uh, the gas pipe and before uh, entering the uh, reaction chamber, uh, we measure the TC5 and TC6. TC0 is the ambient temperature. And we have very uh, stable temperature here for almost two days. Um, <coughs> the standard deviation uh, is 0.35 or 0.26, and <coughs> for RTD4, uh, 0.3 uh, uh, Now <coughs> we uh, elevate the temperature. Uh, here we start at, uh, ah, sorry, uh, before this uh, graph, uh, we have uh, this uh, baking down and after this uh, we introduce the hydrogen gas and <coughs> almost two, uh, two days we have uh, 195 watt run and after that uh, we elevate the temperature to uh, uh, by increasing the power to 231 watt. And uh, for Saturday and Sunday, we uh, stopped the uh, uh, power uh, supply. And on Monday, we restarted the, at, um, at five, 95 watt. And uh, the 231 watt uh, is followed. Uh, and uh, after uh, that, we do
to uh, uh, 124 watt run. And, <coughs> and we have uh, rather uh, stable but uh, changing uh, temporary changing uh, temperatures compared with the uh, brown ground or control ground. The control ground is the is Control run means this uh, calibration. Uh, now, <coughs> the, uh, uh, the temperature change is uh, what, what causes uh, this ch temperature change? Uh, we monitor the uh, neutron counting and gamma ray counting uh, to investigate it. Uh, we see a rather uh, constant uh, output of neutrons counting and gamma ray counting. And also the uh, input power uh, changes very little. Uh, of course, uh, from this to this, uh, we change the input power from 195 to 231. And from this to this, uh, 195 to 231. And, uh, 124 follows. And <coughs> we see from here that the uh, uh, temperature uh, uh, varies, uh, but uh, compared with this, uh, with the uh, control runs. Uh, here we compare the uh, one, 195 gun with the uh, con uh, control gun and uh, the uh, four gun gun. Uh, this line, black line, uh, dotted black line uh, shows the uh, control gun. Uh, temperatures uh, in the control runs, but uh, these are extrapolated uh, according to the, the uh, uh, according to the um, uh, observed uh, one. The, this comparison shows that the uh, we have a temperature increase or temperature difference of uh, 17 to 18, uh, 7 to 18, or 8 to 19 degree. Uh, that these are uh, this correspond to this excess power if it is excess power. Uh, another comparison is here uh, at uh, 231 watt. Uh, also here we have uh, 18 watt or 15 watt excess, if it is excess. Uh, here uh, also. <coughs> 17, uh, 7 to 12, uh, 11 to 16. Uh, here also. Uh, they are, these are compared with the uh, extrapolated price. 
uh, but in the case of 124 watt, we have uh, two days uh, background run. Uh, as shown before uh, here, we have very stable temperature, but but in the four ground rounds, uh, we have uh, gradually increasing uh, temperature change. Uh, this amount 11 to 22 or 24 watt. And then <coughs> uh, we have to conclude from the, uh, only from this, this data uh, that uh, the temperature uh, difference is real. Uh, let's go to the conclusion. Uh, the first uh, calibration uh, of the uh, oil mass flow calorimetry uh, using a dummy uh, aluminum powder. Uh, as for this calibration run, uh, the current reached almost 300 degrees C at uh, 20. To, uh, at about uh, 200 watt. And the long term stability or uh, fluctuation in terms of uh, standard deviation is better than 0 0.5 degrees C. And conversion factor uh, is about 20 cc per minute. Ah, uh, 0. Uh, about 1 watt per minute. Uh, with oil, oil flow rate of 20 cc per minute. And heat recovery efficiency is uh, almost 0 0.9. And uh, the heat removal time constant is about 30 minutes. Uh, second, <coughs> as for the first trial run, uh, using the CNS sun. Uh, this is a silica included copper uh, nickel nano composite. Uh, in this uh, <coughs> sample, uh, the nickel was only uh, four grams, and the rest was uh, the, the most of the rest was uh, silica. Uh, 200 grams of silica. And <coughs> both TC2, uh, just outside, uh, uh, just uh, behind the out, out, outlet, uh, and uh, TC, uh, RTDs uh, inside the reaction chamber show higher temperatures than for uh, the blank sample. Uh, the problem was uh, aluminum. Uh, this implies uh, long-term, long-lasting excess power of uh, 20 watt uh, or 5 watt per gram nickel. Uh, the assumed excess heat appears to be uh, on the sample uh, on the same order as the of the CNZ sample. Uh, the CNZ sample was uh, used and <coughs> mentioned in the Takahashi's uh, presentation. Uh, that, that was, uh, that uh, yielded uh, about two watt per gram. A very similar by was obtained. Uh, but, uh, to conclude the excess, we need further measurements with more precise comparison. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Questions?
comments? Yes. Very nice uh, work, Kizimara uh, san. Uh, I realize this is early days yet, but um, your thermal efficiency is 88%. So yes. only 12% of that system needs to be uh, calibrated uh, independent of the instrument. Uh, the effect is 5 to 10 percent, so it's not so good. I'm sure you'll get uh, bigger effects, but what do you, how do you, have you uh, done an uh, analysis of the instrument accuracy? What would you judge the absolute accuracy of your counterinvestor to be at, at this stage? Uh, uh, we check the stability uh, as measured earlier, but um, accuracy, as for the accuracy, we don't have no data. Well, carry on. Good work. <laughs>